Hey, how's it going guys? Jason here and on today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to transform your Canon DSLR camera or mirrorless camera um, into a webcam. Um, maybe you're looking to like make some videos from your computer, um, not just straight from the camera and you want to, uh, you know, plug it into the software like OBS Studio. Um, I'm going to show you how to get that set up or maybe you're on, you know, the business side of things. You want to use uh, uh, Microsoft Teams or uh, Zoom, and you have one of these cameras, instead of using like a traditional uh, webcam, <laughs> it would be better to use one of these because you get so much better quality, so much better um, picture, and it brings out, you know, your face, it makes you pop a little bit, right? Um, I'm gonna show you guys how to get it set up, basically, all right? So if you guys like videos like this, and if you do find the video helpful, please do drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and all that good stuff, all right? We're gonna get right into it. All right, getting into it, I have right here a Canon M50, and as I said, this works with any cam Canon uh, uh, camera, DSLR, or SLR, or mirrorless, whatever kind of camera you have. Um, this should work just fine. All right, so all you need is a USB, like this one, well, this one for my uh, M50, this is the USB that it used, those old, like, I don't even remember what you call this one, but it's pretty old, it's not type C. Uh, I think it's type D if I, <laughs> if memory serves, right? And all you need to do is just hook it up to your computer back there. And of course, it has to be a data cable, because if it's not a data cable, then you can't transmit data through it. Uh, you'll be just like, you know, you just left with like a charging kind of signal and not being able to transfer data. So um, that's what we're working with right now. I'm about to uninstall all the softwares <laughs> that I installed. Well, not OBS, but I'm about to uninstall uh, the EOS webcam utility. That's what we're gonna be installing today in order to make our camera work. All right, stay with me. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is head to our browser. I want to type in Canon software. And as you can see, it automatically fills for me because I've done this before. <laughs> and we want to choose the first link right there. Hopefully the camera is showing very clear on your side. And then you'll see a little search box down here at the bottom. You just type in the model of your Canon uh, camera. For me, it's the M50. And then just go ahead and hit that search, all right? And of course, it's gonna bring up all the information on your camera. And um, along with that, it will give you a bunch of different software or, um, you know, utilities. So the one that we're looking for at the very bottom, let me see if I can focus that for you. We're going to be looking for EOS webcam utility. Um, this one is the version 2.38. Um, maybe some cameras will have an earlier version or a later version, right? It depends. But we're gonna go ahead and hit download on the side. We'll hit the download. And of course, it started downloaded up there. Okay, we're gonna open that actually right here. EOS. And then I'm using WinRAR. You're gonna need a, uh, a specific uh, software to extract the file. I recommend using WinRAR or WinZip on camera's out of focus. Let me fix that. All right, I think that's a little bit better. Um, and then you wanna extract these files into a specific folder. For me, I'll choose documents or maybe uh, your desktop. In fact, for just, just for this video, <laughs> I'm gonna just put it in the pictures, All right? So hit new folder and extract it there, boom, ba, pow. And once you get the file extracted, right? I'm gonna go to my documents because that's where my original one was. US utility. You want to select the option right here that says setup, run it as administrator, and then it will start the installation uh, process. Go ahead and hit next, hit next, accept the terms. You know, we don't really read terms anymore, we just sell our soul. Hit next, create desktop icon, all that stuff. Hit next, install. All right, so while this install, you wanna make sure that your camera is plugged in, all right? And um, let's go on, 
and now it's finished. When it's finished, it's gonna ask you to restart the computer. Just hit yes and let your computer restart while it configures. All right, so once you've restarted your PC, you're gonna see this little software right here called EOS Webcam Utility. You wanna open that, all right? And you wanna make sure that your camera is responsive. Remember, we gotta keep it plugged in. Go ahead and allow when it give you the prompt. And then, of course, you're gonna see something pop up like this. But right down here, this is what the main screen is gonna look like. I'm not sure why it's not showing. I'm not sure why it's not showing on this screen right here. But um, yeah, once you have this software pulled up, and then it's you know it's working. So I'm gonna go ahead and open OBS. Let me close this. Go ahead and open OBS so you can see how it looks uh, for the very first time. I'm also gonna open Discord so you guys can see. All right. So if you see something like this on the screen. That means the, the uh, software is ready and your camera is ready, right? So what we wanna make sure is that our camera is on, the switch is on, and of course, you can hit the little power click button capture, and then it'll come up with a little uh, you know, notification telling you that it's um, working basically. And then that's how you have it uh, hooked up to OBS. Um, quick note, how to actually add the uh, camera into your scene on OBS. For me right here, I have the Canon, but I can delete it, right? Hit yes and delete that. And then there's nothing in the scene, it's blank. Um, if I hit this little plus button down here and go to video capture device, you will do that right there and I can type in Canon again, right? Press okay. Then it'll bring up some options Right there, it says EOS Utility, and it has EOS, EOS Utility Pro also. I don't see much of a difference between both, um, but I think with Pro, you can like uh, change the uh, hue, you know, the saturation, contrast, brightness, all that stuff um, through the software itself. I haven't really been tinkering with that much. I only, you know, calibrate the camera, and then the camera will give me all the goodness that I need. I don't need the third party software to actually do anything else, right? And then that's how you add it in uh, OBS, right? So if you have Discord, like I do, right? It's a more practical way of doing it. Um, you have, of course, have the camera options. I'll have to get in the call first. I'm gonna just mute my mic <laughs> and get in the call with somebody random. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and turn my camera on and freak this person out. <laughs> so, once you turn the camera on, if it's working. Oh, it won't work because I have OBS open. Let me close OBS. And then turn off camera, and then turn camera back on. And then that's it right there. The person can't hear me, but that's my bro. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna just leave it call so I don't freak him out anymore. All right, apart from that, um, if you're in Google Teams, um, Google Teams or uh, Zoom, of course, you can select the camera from the drop down, wherever it is, you know, you have the option. And then you just select EOS utility. And as I said, going back to OBS, this is how it's gonna look before you start the camera up. So it's just gonna have that EOS utility um, software because it's like virtualizing the actual camera as a webcam, all right? So if you guys found this video helpful and you guys wanna show some love, let me know in the comments down below what other videos you guys might want and don't forget to like and subscribe. I also got a video on how to set up OBS Studio coming up. So if you guys wanna see that, Make sure you guys show some love. And I thank you so much for the love and the support. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.